Okay, so today we're going to have a small review on the Hudson H502S FPV X4 Desire. Alright, there's been a lot of talk about these on the internet and, you know, good reviews, bad reviews. A lot of people having problems with binding it. Um, batteries not lasting. What I did was got rechargeable batteries for the transmitter. Um, the charger for the quadcopter battery, really not the best. However, it does work. Um, takes a while to charge. But uh, all in all, I flew this thing a couple times already. Holds GPS position really well. Um, you know, you got to calibrate the compass. There was an update in the box to calibrate the compass. Um, with that said, that's all good. Let's get into one of the problems that everyone's having with this. Here's a quadcopter. Really neat little design. Mine had stickers. A sticker cover in the bottom. These are cool events for the battery. Um, I think that was another problem that I had. Was that it was... Um, the battery was getting too hot and it was just discharging. You guys all know heat equals resistance. Here's where the battery goes in. Slides right in. Like so, nice and tight. Let's plug her in. Okay, now the lights are flashing. We're powered up. You just stick the wires back in there. Close her up. Done. Lights are flashing. Now, to bind this to the radio, hit the photo button, turn it on. And there we go. I don't know if you guys can see that well. Here's the camera. <clears throat> I have the quadcopter GPS and the transmitter GPS down at the bottom. Copter voltage, transmitter voltage. Now it wants me to calibrate compass number one. However, it's this easy. You rotate it. You do it outside. I'm just showing you guys for this purpose. Just keep spinning in a circle. Again, if you do it outside, it's a lot easier. Then it says compass two. Take it face down, spin it this way. It takes about two, two to three turns to do the compass. Okay, now all the lights are solid, compass is calibrated, you're set to go. You have to have six GPS satellites locked in on the, on the transmitter and the quadcopter before you can take off. Because if you try now, it's not going to let the, the copter start. Oh no! I think once you work the bugs out, it will be a good quadcopter. Um, like I said, I did fly it. I did a small video. That all works well. Have no problem with losing link or anything of that nature after the fact. Um, hope this helped you guys out a little bit. Enjoy. I know I'm going to.